So today is the day before burial is expected to make landfall in Jamaica. And we woke up to a lot of breeze. Sunny day, which is good, but a lot of breeze, which is relatively unusual. So we are expecting the calm before the storm. It's now Tuesday, July 2nd, I believe. And I'm going about my day as per usual. I just got ready to do my coaching sessions. But um, when hubby gets home, we're gonna be doing some hurricane prep to pick up some stuff on the outside. We have already gone and gotten most of what we need in terms of supplies. But hopefully I'm done with my coaching sessions on time, which is gonna be 8 p.m. tonight, because it's an all day thing and I'll be able to go and pick up some additional water because while we have reserve, the problem is if that reserve in the different water tanks gets cut off from the house, then we're gonna have a problem to get water. So as a backup plan to the backup plan to the backup plan, we're gonna get some more water. So if I'm going on the road, I'm gonna take you along with us. I'm gonna take you along with us doing the hurricane plans. You may live in a place where you never need to do this, but we're just gonna show you what needs to be done. If it's safe to capture footage during the hurricane, assuming it comes, which we're praying right now that it deviates and dissipates, not deviates, because we don't want it to hit anybody else, but it dissipates. But based on the forecast, we may not have that luxury at this stage. So it's best to prepare, but I will try to capture footage if it's safe to do so um, while the hurricane is happening from the inside, of course, definitely not a storm hunter or a hurricane seeker, Uh, -uh not me. That's built for some other kind of people with some tougher personalities and the people who don't mind the additional 1000 ways to die other than the obvious ones that are already plaguing us. That said, I'll try to capture some footage and I'll keep you posted as best as I can. And hopefully someone can learn from this and get some value from it. Talk to you soon, going to my coaching sessions now. So as a follow up to the preparation that's required, we need to, we have solar power but what I'm trying to do is to preserve the battery power, which means that while we have electricity from the grid, by turning off the solar power, because right now solar is being used to sustain our home, but by turning off solar power, it means, let me get good light in here, it means that the grid would power the house and we'd be able to preserve our battery power. So I'm actually going now into the room where we keep our solar things and I'm going to try to figure out how to turn it off. No, I haven't done this a lot. I've gotten the instructions. So let's hope I get this right. That way, when the hurricane does start, we're still praying it away, but we also have to be conscious of the reality. But if it does come when it starts we'll have full batteries because we're gonna just use the power and not drain our batteries waiting for the hurricane to come i'm also gonna check on the generator and i'm also I'm also gonna turn off every other pump like the pool pump um the ones that i can get away with i can't turn off the pump because my fish will for the different ponds because the fish will die from a lack of oxygen can't have that now. So let's start with the solar. So these are the batteries. We have eight lithium batteries and this is what keeps the power going. So basically it, it saves the power from the panels on the roof and it stores them in these batteries. So the longer we can keep the power in the battery by not using it in the house while we still have power from the grid, the better we're gonna be. And if 
when we lose electricity, which is normal during a storm, assuming it comes, because we're still praying it away, I'm going to say that and not stop saying it until it dissipates, dissipates, dissipate, whatever the word is, until it's gone. Whenever we lose power from the grid, it turns over to solar and then hopefully we'll get sun the day after the hurricane and we'll be able to be on solar until we get power back from the grid but we also have a full generator that operates the entire home everything outside inside which i'll go to next i have to test that as well so i'm gonna try to do that now hobby is on the road getting some last minute things of course for his parents and so on i already got for this house we need a few more things so he's doing that so later when he comes though we're gonna move some glass and stuff that we have outside in order for us to do this let me flip the camera here now this here i need to turn this to manual and then switch this and it should turn it by doing that to the grid so no longer is the solar power being used it should be the grid the pump for the pool is already on jps and just now i heard the generator come on so let's go into the generator room this room now has croaking lizards which as you know i am terrified of so we're not going to go into the room i'm just going to show you outside and I just want to make sure everything is right and running, assuming you can hear me right now. So let's flip the camera and I'll show you the room. So this is the generator. That's it there. And I'm checking for lizards. There seems to be none. So we can come to the side here and look at the panel and the lights are on, it's all green and we can also check here. Guys, did you see that? That was a croaky. Anyway, as I was saying. That was nothing. <laughs> you know what? Let's leave this place. That was nothing, but you know how it is. When fear is in us, even dust will get us screaming. Anyway, let's go back and let's correct everything in here. And then we're gonna go to the pump for the pool so now that the test for the generator is done we flip the camera here and we're gonna do that it switches back automatically and i'm gonna now check the app on my phone to see how things are performing so let me show you what the app looks like Flip that camera so this is the app and you can track everything with the app related to the system yes so we're 100% charged let me see if I can show you the app let me flip this here and let's see can you see that or is the glare too much let's turn it this way we're gonna move to reducing our use of power and there are two ways to do it generator just shut off because we flipped that back now we're realizing that we're 100 percent so the key is not to use 
um, solar power tonight or power in the battery tonight to get energy to use the grid I'm trying to lock this guys and the one hand thing is not working it's going to that room it's off now because it's flipped to JPS so even if we the pool comes on let's check this room now for lizards show you this room check the roof with me that's right and just check the little creases and corners all checked now we can enter the room so by doing this we don't use any energy to get the pool going and this way one more check for lizards now that we're in this way we turn everything off here on the switches so that off that off that off and that way um, the pool uses solar so but we can also flip it to the grid so we have already flipped it to the grid which means it only comes on um, if the grid is working but I just did an extra precaution to flip it off just in case in the middle of the storm assuming we still have power you really don't want the pool to be working I guess not right so we just flip that off to be on the safe side this room has been flooded before um, so everything in here for the most part is water resistant up to of course the levels where you have the sensor the timer and everything so we should be okay either way and we're just gonna do this so now I'm gonna walk around just make sure we still have the front of the yard to take up the all the things that's loose in the yard but what I'm gonna do is just make sure that everything loose is taken up some of it I can do by myself um, some of it we'll have to do together as a family out here everything is already taken up like you can see there are the floaters for the pool they have been placed over here and all the cushions the umbrella everything that has the possibility to be blown all the cushions taken off there I think this is heavy enough yeah that definitely can't be blown because it's filled with dirt and everything is taken up so everything looks pretty bare yep and we'll do the same thing with the front of the yard a heart speed to the city streets we begin to feel the fire we rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher the night's young We want to chase the night, want to dance to the light, pulls us from the sky. Is it working? <laughs> yes, it is. Why would you do that and then somebody, st exactly, because if somebody step on it flat, so then it's fine. Yes, you never know. Trying to pick up everything that's loose, that can possibly be blown and either lowering where they are or taking them up all together. take down these bromeliads because they're right now in this bicycle thing so let me see if I can put them down on the flat so they don't blow away it's better and the cushions I think these blow these will blow away is them there they blow away and I can't hurt anything we'll just have to look for them hard when we're done 
No, these birds, uh, the wind should go around them. What's the probability of these being blown away? It's a very good question. Let's test. Hmm. But you know that calm before the storm? That's what we're experiencing right now. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm gonna keep going, have to disconnect. It's nightfall almost, and we still have some work to do. So like I said, I'll keep you posted if I'm able to and if it's safe to do so during the storm. And I'll post the video whenever I get internet. Take care, walk good, and be safe, especially if you're in the Caribbean region, or if you're in the Texas area where I think the storm is coming in short order. And I know some of you who are rock stars, uh, especially on my other channel, live in that area. So please be safe, everybody.